The Honda Tuner community over the years has gained quite a bad repo for producing ricer oriented builds. Flashy paint jobs, chrome wheels, underglow and all of that stuff honestly doesn't make your car that fast. But there is a group of Honda enthusiasts who want to make their car very fast and very fun to drive. And this is one of them. Welcome back to Auto Culture and the Drivers Hub. This is a Gen 6 Honda Accord which has been modified and it's very fun to drive. Let's do a quick history lesson before we hop into this modified Accord. Honda introduced the Accord way back in 1976 as a larger alternative to the Civic and to rival other Japanese cars like the Camry. This Gen 6 of Accord was the first Accord to be sold officially by Honda in India. While the Camry got notorious for being a taxi car, the Accord maintained its reputation as a great alternative to similar and more expensive German luxury cars. But unfortunately, the Accord has now been discontinued in India due to the lack of sales and interest. Now, unlike a stock Honda Accord, this thing has quite a lot of mods done in the frontal area of the cabin. Most noticeable is of course these bright racing seats. So they're bucket seats but they're not full-on bucket seats which will hurt your back or something like that. They're a good compromise between comfortable and sporty basically. So when you're in the corners, they'll hold on to you in the corners and make sure you're not thrown around here and there. But they're comfortable enough that you can do quite a lot of kilometers in them without hurting your back. The other thing that has been changed in this car is the steering wheel. You have this beautiful looking Momo steering wheel but the owner hasn't stopped there. He's put a Honda NSX R badge in the middle to make sure it has that OEM plus feel and it's been imported from outside of India and it's a cool little feature and very cool to just touch the horn really nice but apart from that the interior is pretty much stock you just have a infotainment system in the middle which has which is a pioneer system but the instrument cluster is stock the panels are stock a very well kept car but you can definitely see that this is a proper project car for the owner but the real magic of this car is when you pop the hood. You see, this car is probably older than most of the people working here at the driver's hub. Definitely older than Shreshth and Dhawal. And once you open up the engine bay, this is where everything comes to play. Because this is a proper sleeper build, like I said in the start of the video. This is an F23A engine, 2.3 uh, liters of displacement, and this thing has proper VTEC. Whereas the newer Hondas, like the Accord that came after this, or even some of the newer cities claim to have VTEC, well, it's not going to be as noticeable and aggressive as this. And when it comes to mods, this thing has a plethora of mods. And since this is not really my area of expertise, I'm going to pull out my phone and quickly explain what all has been done. So, it has a uh, three-angle valve job, port matching, polished plenum, port match throttle body, head ported polish, uh, Fidanza aluminium flywheel, uh, a Kevlar stage 2 clutch, uh, grinded cams, AEM intake, AEM fuel rail, AEM injectors, Tomai, uh, pressure regulator, strengthened engine block and a lot of more stuff. And in total, this car should be making around 160-ish horsepower. The thing is, it can make more, but to put a tune on this car, you actually have to get a standalone ECU, which is quite a lot of money. To install a standalone ECU, this thing can make approximately 180 horsepower, which is quite a lot for an engine that is made back in 2001. Hold up, have you checked out our website? Thedriversup.com is live now with a new segment called TDH Classifieds, where you can list your exotic, performance or even project car and target the right audience. Even if you are in the market to buy yourself a nice car of your dreams, something like this, a first of its kind Skoda VRS 245 with an all-wheel drive system or maybe something more subtle like this Punto Abarth with a Stage 1 Plus and a lot of goodies. So head on forward to TDH Classifieds and get the car of your dreams. Driving this Accord 2.3 is a very different experience to what I am used to. I am used to the power of a turbocharger and I am basically waiting for the power to be delivered at whatever 2,500 RPM, uh, 1,500 RPM, whatever it is. But this thing, for you to go fast, you actually need to push it 
really really hard high into the rev range because it's a naturally aspirated motor so it's something that you really have to just grab it by its neck and just thrash it around here and there and that's what makes this thing fun to drive and the owner was telling me the same thing that this isn't a car that you drive normally basically you have to basically thrash it around here and there to have some sort of fun in it and well fun it is because it is a insane experience to drive it and the turning radius is quite crap F23A engine is not the most mod friendly engine and the owner himself was telling me that this is actually the worst engine you can get to do some sort of mods to because there aren't a lot of mods out there for this engine but the guy who's actually made this car this car has been bought from a different guy who's actually done all of the mods and everything so he has spent quite a lot of money on it apparently around 8 lakh rupees and well well spent or not that's something that is totally on you because if you really like this car then it is of course justified to spend that much amount of money but the cams the fuel rail lines and everything you can actually feel it working because it's a na motor and well the <laughs> car is so aggressive that you really want to basically thrash it around some gripes that i have is that the shifter is not really the smoothest out there but overall i can see why people like driving hondas i mean it's a completely different experience to the normal turbocharged beasts that you have in india which are skoda loras octavias polo gt's or whatever this is a really different experience compared to that Sounds insane, I have to say. The other thing that the owner was telling me that aftermarket parts and stuff is really cool for this car, no doubt. But the real, ex like the real gem and the real excitement that you'll have while owning this car is to get proper Honda OEM parts because. This car has a lot of issues when it comes to getting parts. It's at least a 2 month waiting period for some basic parts here and there is what the owner was telling me. And this thing has the proper OEM Tokiko shocks up front. And I'm just going to rip it once more. Here the VTEC. And The owner was telling me that you should listen to the intake, which is the AEM intake, and the noise that it makes is so prominent. Yep, driving an NA engine car with such a high rev band and such a strong mid range is something different. No turbocharged car can replicate the feeling of when you're actually hooning a naturally aspirated engine car. And even the brake lines and everything have been upgraded to steel braided brake lines. The owner has left no. stone unturned basically the only problem that he has is that the wheel size for this car is not really that common and no one makes a good 17 inch piece of rims for this car at least that no one that he knows of so that is a little bit of an issue but this thing is all about the engine man this 2.3 liter vtec the amount of work done on it and it just builds power wherever you want I have to say I'm a big fan of the steering wheel and I love the fact that the owner has basically kept everything as OEM plus as possible and even like all of the modifications done are closely related to the legendary Honda parts that everyone talks about. AEM is a big Honda company. So the parts and everything that have been put on this car are made for Hondas and that's the best part about this thing.
When it comes to the looks, I have to say this has to be one of my favorite looking Accord generations. The Gen 6 has just something really majestic about it. And this was the first Honda Accord to be properly sold in India from the manufacturer. And I just love the way it looks. These sleek looking headlights, the sleek looking tail lights and overall just the shape is really really attractive to me. And the best part about this build is that it looks proper sleeper. I mean it's running on stock OEM wheels. That's how sleeper this is. So on the outside apart from the little two tips sticking out of the back I don't think anyone is going to notice that this is a really really fast Honda Accord. This has to be one of the most fun experiences I've ever had with a Honda. The thing is you really have to work for the speed. The shifter is not the smoothest so you actually have to perfect your shifting style and everything like that which makes you want to drive the car more and more. I highly recommend checking this car out because it's one of the coolest Accord builds that I've ever seen. Thank you so much for watching. This is Soam Saraf. The perfect timing pick here.